Hi, I'm High Tech. My friends call me HT. The other day, I heard this most interesting conversation. It was a hot day. HT sat quietly, keeping cool, in the shadow of a tall tree. The trouble with me, said the shadow, is that I don't do anything. I don't go anywhere. I want to be free, like those birds in your branches. The tree thought for a minute. Oh, you've got it all wrong. I'm stuck up here in all weathers. Oh, it's nice enough in the sunshine, but it blows really cold sometimes. And the winter snow. Oh, you can't imagine how heavy that feels. Well... I suppose so, said the shadow. I don't really know. However deep the snow gets, I'm always on top of it. And then the sun dries up all the water. Oh, it's no fun being a tree. And you'll complain about not going anywhere. I can't help noticing how much you move around during the day. Between sunrise and sunset, you completely change your size. Me, I'm just stuck in the same place. There was silence in the forest. The sky had started to cloud over. It looked as if it might rain later on. Well... Maybe, said the shadow. Maybe, but do you realize that I've never, ever seen the sun? Oh, lucky old you, said the tree. And you also disappear when it starts to get wet. But it was too late. A cloud had covered the sun, and the shadow had indeed disappeared. These clouds are stopping the light from the sun getting to the ground. The clouds make shadows. This gnome makes a shadow. The shadow changes as the Earth spins round during the day. And this is what that changing shadow would look like speeded up. OK. Can you just stand over here? Let me have a quick talk to you for a moment. OK, just crouch down. Well, you can see where the sun is at the moment, and you can see where this pole is casting a shadow. Can you see where the end of the pole is over there? Yeah. Now, when you go home at the end of the day, where is the shadow? It, it points over in that direction, because the sun is where? Where's the sun? The sun is over there somewhere. Now, you can see where this shadow is passing over this chalk line on the, on the playground floor. You've got a plastic marker. The shadow at the moment is just here, on the white line. Put your marker where you think this shadow will be in about two hours' time. Think how you would decide where to put your marker. This is how a sundial's shadow moves. You can tell the time from a sundial by seeing where the shadow has reached during its movement from morning to night. Now, two hours later, the shadow of the netball post has moved. That's it. OK, now then, look where the shadow is. And look where it was. That's where it was when we started off, and that's where the shadow has moved to now. I'll put a new marker down to show where it is. And whose marker is closest to the shadow? Matthew. It's Matthew's. Well done, Matthew. Where do you think the shadow will be two hours from now? Put down your marker where you think it will be 
two hours from now, and then move out of the way. That's how far it's gone in two hours, from that yellow triangle to that one, and we'll see where it is two hours from now. OK, off we go inside. Close your eyes and imagine walking along a street at night time. There are street lights. Think about walking past one of those bright lights. Imagine where your shadow is. Is it changing? You are nearly halfway to the next street light. How many shadows do you have now? Imagine how the shadows change as you move between the lights. And we'll be 